I'm Camille from Camille's Farm Ideas, and today I have a singing time lesson plan for teaching the verses to Samuel Tells of the Baby Jesus. Now, for this activity, I have chosen a flannel board as my medium, and I've just made a whole bunch of little flannel board characters using keywords found in the song. That said, this was a little time consuming, more time consuming than I tend to put into singing time lesson plans. If you want to recreate any of these, you can just print something that's similar um, and the lesson plan will work just the same. But I, I just, like I said, it's just kind of fun to change things up, bring something in a little different that the kids aren't expecting. I mean, flannel boards really used to be all the thing before we printed everything. So it's kind of fun to go retro every once in a while, but I don't do this very often. So anyway, just know that you have a few options with the singing time lesson plan. Okay, before I delve into the flannel board, I do want to just quickly go over an attention getter to introduce the verses to the song. So what I have here is the gospel art picture of Samuel on the wall. And what I love is, I really love these original images of this, the stories. Um, it's just a great visual. And I love that they're church approved artwork. I love taking apart my gospel art book and putting them in sheet protectors so I can just use one page. I don't have to have the whole book out. So what I recommend is pulling out this picture and then quickly reading from the scriptures, just the few scriptures that are found at the bottom that are referenced at the bottom of the song. And it's Helaman 13, two through four, Helaman 14, two through four, and third Nephi 1, nine through 15. Now, if you've got older children, you can have them read it quickly younger children, you can read it or you can just paraphrase. It's basically a summary of what we're going to be singing about in the song. It's a great introduction. Okay, so once you've kind of introduced what we're going to be talking about, clearly it's Samuel Tells of the Baby Jesus, and you can hang this up or my board's full right now, so I'll just set it aside. Um, you can just display your flannel board. And what I've done in the past is usually I have this piece of felt that's wrapped around a foam board. And so it's more portable. And then I will just get an easel from the library and it kind of lays it at an angle. And usually the flannel boards tend to stick a little better if they're not straight up and down, but this works for my demonstration purposes here. So that said, for the activity, so you'll either have your flannel characters, or you'll just have a picture representing each of these, whatever is easiest for you. All right, so I'm dropping everything. Does anyone else drop everything in the middle of singing time? So what you're gonna do is to start this activity is you and the teachers are just going to start singing the verses. And I'm hoping you've already taught the chorus at this point. Um, so you'll just start singing, post the words. If you know me, you know I love to post the words. It helps me get teachers, especially to help me sing, and then even children. They might be semi-familiar with the song already, and if they have the words in front, they can already sing. So what I'm going to do is, as we're singing, I'm just going to quickly be putting these characters on the board in order. So, to demonstrate, said Samuel, within five years, the night will be as day. And baby Jesus will be born in a land far, far away. All right, so that was pretty quick. And then what you'd want to do is sing the chorus and take this down. So I'm going to just take this all down right now. And then when we're finished with the chorus, I'm going to ask the children, what do you remember seeing on the board? What was up there? Okay, so I remember there was Samuel. I remember Samuel. Okay. And I remember um, there was a baby Jesus. Great. Yeah, anything else? Um, there was that weird looking brown building thing. Oh, yes. Okay, the land far, far away. All right. But that's all we can remember. Okay, let's sing it again to see if we can remember. Well, for re a refresher. So you and the teachers and any children who want to can sing again. So it's Samuel, within five years, remember we had the moon, the night will be as day. Okay. And baby Jesus will be born in the land far, far away. Take it down, see if they can remember them again. 
And you can even, you can put them up out of order and they can switch, they can help put them in order. And there's lots of options when you have this, um, oh, this type of visual, the storyboard, because they just easily move around. Um, anyway, it's really fun. Okay, so then you'll sing the chorus and you can sing the chorus either using the other information that I have on the chorus or just, just or just sing it regular. Okay, and then you'll start on the second verse. Across the sea. And then I have these little waves across the sea, which I hope I can get it up fast enough. I might have to start that sooner. Across the sea in Bethlehem. So I'm just reusing what I used in the first verse so I don't have to make more. Across the sea in Bethlehem. Lord Jesus. So I have Lord Jesus here. Lord Jesus came to earth as Samuel. I'm reusing Samuel. I wasn't about to recreate him. <laughs> as Samuel had prophesied and angels sang his birth. Now when I made these, I did just kind of I hot glued all the different colors of felt together. The angel sang his birth. And again, you're just going to do the same thing. Okay, during the chorus, let's take it all down. And what do we remember from the second verse? All right. And then you can even go back into the first verse again. Okay, what do you remember from the first verse now that we've added the second verse to this? And so on. Okay, and then you can just kind of, like I said, you can mix and match. You can have children assign each of them one of the characters to come and hang on the board as you sing it and see if you can get it in order. And anyway, there's just lots of options and variety that you can do with this format. All right, and then what I do love is if you have any extra time, you can always ask directive listening questions as you sing the verses. So one of them is how many years after Samuel's prophecy would Jesus be born? And, that's, and then they listen to it, and that's five. So what was the sign that, that told of Jesus's birth? And that was the night will be as day. So the night, we have the moon, the night will be as day. And where would Jesus be born? In the land far, far away. I mean, you could even, as you're asking these questions, if they're on the board, um, say the five is on the board, you could, they'll know the answer. How many years after Samuel's prophecy would Jesus be born? And come pick up the item that answers that question. Um, and then verse two, where did Jesus come to earth? Across the sea in Bethlehem. Samuel told of something that would happen in the future. And what word means that he told something before it would happen? And that's prophesied. So I guess there's no visual that's directly coordinated with prophesied. And then who sang at Jesus' birth? Angels. All right. So anyway, so it's just a really simple, really fun, just different way to present this fun story. I mean, it really, the song really does tell a story. And a storyboard, flannel storyboard, is just really a fun medium to use for this. So lastly, I always recommend you bear testimony. And I just recommend that you say that Samuel the Lamanite's prophecy that Jesus would be born in Bethlehem was fulfilled. And angels sang at his birth. We are so blessed that the Lord was born. So I hope that helps you teach Samuel tells of the baby Jesus in singing time. I would love to hear how it goes in the comments.